Good morning, Britain. Police launch a legal battle to bring speedboat killer Jack Shepard back to the UK from Georgia. The father of his victim, Charlotte Brown, joins us live in the studio. The war on superbugs is stepped up as the government orders doctors to cut the use of antibiotics. Fresh attempts will be made today to find the plane carrying footballer Emiliano Sala after it emerged the pilot had joked before takeoff he was a bit rusty. After 7 o'clock, Rob Winder will be here to tell us why the horrors of the Holocaust should never be forgotten after he discovered his own family's traumatic history. Also this morning, Call the Midwife. We talked to Laura Main about one of the biggest dramas on television. And we'll be finding out why one of the biggest personalities in politics, Anne Whittacombe, is going on tour. Another cold and frosty start to the day, but plenty of winter sunshine. A band of rain, sleet and snow could make a bit of an icy mix first thing this morning. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Thursday, 24th of January, 2019. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. <laughs> uh, hello there, good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. Uh, welcome to the programme. We're very excited. Finally, very excited. we have a bit of glamour. Yes. A bit of proper class on the desk. Bit a new member of the hair. team. A bit of full-on hair. <laughs> it's not often that she comes in uh, invited. Usually she's stumbling after sausages somewhere or other. She is indeed, yes. Although we prefer not to give her sausages, Ben, because there's salt bombs in this building. Oh, OK. Uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Good point. She's um, very calm, Clemmy. You're, you're very calm. Very why, calm. Why is she here, Richard? She's here because we're talking about... About uh, why people prefer pets to to humans, other yeah, people. to other people. Chris yeah. Packham has come out saying that uh, his dog is absolutely fundamentally much more important to his life than people, and he couldn't live without his dog. He had two of them, didn't he? Itchy and Scratchy. Unfortunately, one of them uh, passed away. Uh, and actually, he could live without people, but not his pets. And I mean, I including his partner. Yeah. his partner knows this. Yeah, I, I've got She's a dog. Like, I've got a dog and a wife, and when we go for a walk, Careful. one of them does a poo on the side of the road, and I have to pick it up. 